Okay, guys. Um, I don't know how else to really film this, so because I want to explain a quick little thing, a little trick. If you want to know how a project's going to look before you cut it, um, like size-wise and you know scale. Now, I'm on a big TV, and then occasionally I drop down to my actual laptop when I'm out, you know, type of thing. Um, so the scales are different. Now, when I want to see what is what my cut is actually going to be so like if i'm looking at a tight spot on something and i'm curious you know hey can i even cut that with my blade on screen it looks fine as soon as you print it and you're out on the field you're like oh uh i can't cut that that hole's too small i don't have a drill bit that small or whatever so now we have here a percentage here. This is, you know, your 100%, 30%, whatever percentage the screen wants to do to fit everything on your screen. So now what I do is I will take the square tool, which is up here in the upper left, and I'll make a square. I will fill it with black, and I will come up to the top here after select, go into the selection tool. So now obviously that's, you know, what it is. It's just whatever random we draw. I'm gonna try and do this. I know I'm doing this through my screen thing on my phone so this looks probably weird but all right so we go in here to inches and we're gonna make this square two inches by two inches. Okay so now my square here is two inches by two inches. Now if I can do this I take out a tape measure, as funny as this is to do, and I will line that up with the square on my screen. Now, as you can see, that square is supposed to be two inches, but in actuality of what I'm looking at, it's about one and a little under a half. Now, I know from experience of doing this, if I come down to the bottom corner here, if I change this to 52, Whoops, not 352. <laughs> 52%. Okay. This should be now, if I put my tape measure up there, two inches. So now that is my actual size. So before I even print anything, I know what I'm looking at before I even get into the field, before I print anything and go, oh, that part's too small or whatever. I can sit here and go, oh, that's that. All right, well, I have a small little bit. I can draw a little circle if I want to of whatever size, you know, I want and whatever. But it's just a quick little tip. Everybody's screen is going to be different. Like this one's 52%. And that gives me a one-to-one -one scale. But on my laptop, I think it was like 30%, something like that. Somewhere it was a weird 30-something percent or something like that on my laptop screen to get a one-to-one, -one, but at least I'll be able to see as I'm designing things what I'm going to get before I print it. Um, so hopefully this helps somebody. I, I don't know if it will or not, but I know it helps me and it gives me a good idea, especially when like you're working in a screen and you're at say 100%. So this is nice and big. You're like, oh yeah, this looks great. Whatever picture is here. And you go to print it and surprise. Now you'll be able to go, all right, well, I know to get a one-to-one, -one, I can go 52%. This is the actual size of what it's going to be in front of me. When I print it out on my paper and I sit it down in front of me, this is what it's going to look like exactly. So that helps me in, you know, correct errors or design things when I get specific dimensions of things. All right. Hope this helps. Enjoy.